the last few years, collective research has debunked the popular myths that a high-fiber diet lifestyle can cause unfinished housework, late dinners, and neglected family members. In fact, continuing studies show that a high-fiber diet lifestyle may significantly improve the disposition of a crafter, creating a more contented home life. Furthermore, continued exposure can develop an ability to endure meetings, waiting rooms, school functions, and sporting events without experiencing the kind of boredom that makes one want to consume lead paint. Here are just a few ways one can properly increase daily fiber intake. Visit your local yard store or shop online. Join online fiber communities. Tour sheep or alpaca farms. Attend fiber festivals. Or listen to the High Fiber Diet podcast. Please remember to spread your fiber intake throughout the day rather than trying to get it all in one shot. Stretching and resting is important and your body will thank you. Hi. This is Kagi and welcome to the High Fiber Diet, mid-August edition, um, the one where I discover all my whips. Well, not all my whips, but most of my whips uh, that I have seen. Uh, there's still some that are in boxes that haven't been unpacked. Know where they are, just haven't gotten there yet. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back and strap in. I've got some things to go over because I have a nail appointment in a little bit and my nail tech is becoming a grandma for the first time. So I made her some items. We'll talk about that first. So I have this little crochet dress. It's just a simple little crochet dress. Um, Gosh, I don't even know what pattern this is off of or if it's off of a pattern. It's, I've been making them for ages for little girls. So um, it is, I am using Lion Brand Pound of Love in the Honey Bee colorway. I have this much of the second skein left. And like I said, I have the dress. I put a little button on it. I figure she'll wear a onesie underneath it or something so I didn't make the pantaloons. And I don't normally make booties for babies because I prefer socks, so she can go that route. I also made to go with this either a singlet with two leaves on it. I just picked up a leaf pattern out of Ravelry. It was one of the free ones and then put an I cord around for 12 inches and that'll stretch over a baby's head. Or if she wants a bigger, I made this one and I will link the pattern. Don't know the pattern off the top of my head, but it looks more like a bow. And of course this will stretch out to go around the baby's head as well. It is a little girl. She asked for yellow. The only change on this pattern that I made was where they cross. I did stockinette on one end and I did garter on the other so it goes through and makes it very full. It's just a simple headband um, and it can go all the way up to adult sizes. It does stretch to 17 inches, which is bigger than most babies' heads and you just fold the arrow. Of course, I'm doing it on camera, so it's gonna be a pain, right? That's how it always is. You put it in, fluff it through, and it becomes the headband to go around with a little bow on top. And I think that will be sweet with that little dress. I also made a receiving blanket. It's not quite big enough for a crib, perfect for a car seat to go on top, not under the mechanisms, but on top. And I did put my little bear that has my initials on it, my tag. I outlined it in white, um, just cause I thought it needed a pop. 
and that will be a little layette set for her new granddaughter and hopefully she'll be happy with that and that will be going this afternoon i've got to get it bagged up and put tissue paper and all that into it um other things i have finished i finished the turtle romper for a friend it's got to be mailed out still this is done in ancient arts pure merino um i don't know which colorway it was very 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 deep stash and i just picked up buttons at a local store it goes right over the top of um, a t-shirt and fits inside a pair of jeans if need be. Very simple to pop apart for changing. These just unbutton. And it's all done in one straight piece when you're making it. Everything unbuttons out. So you start at this back edge and you knit down and through and then up the chest to the overall bib. And then you sew on, which I don't sew on, I just pick up and knit. And I like doing a garter stitch so it stretches. Um, I gave it a good wash. Uh, the yellow, I did both washer and dryer because the type of yarn it is, it works well with a uh, low wash and light dry. And this one I did a soak and then I threw it in the washing machine to spin it out. I always spin out my knitwear. Um, because they don't stretch as much once they're spun out because there's not as much water in them. And that makes it easy to then lay out flat to dry. And I did lay this out flat to dry, it took about a day. And the mom that this is going to definitely knows how to handle knitwear. So... She requested um, full or mostly wool, natural fibers. So this will be going in the mail soon. What else do I have going? Um, sorry, work sometimes steps in. I have a whole pile of stuff over here. First up, what I'm wearing, this is my Whitmore sweater. Um, I don't know if you saw it on before, but it does come down past hip length. And I really like the way it fits and I love the way it turned out. Uh, I don't think I'll be making another one, but it is a very nice pattern. Um, I made many, many, many adjustments to this and it took me two years to knit it because I put things aside and then work on something else that sparks my joy and I need to stop doing that. So before I get into all the mess of whips, I'm going to do a little bit of acquisition because I only have that much. So I have been doing the fill your yarn bucket, fluff your stash with uh, Texas peach knits and I finished my bucket. So I got to send that in. But you also uh, put in on Instagram and tag her on what you're doing with your bucket. So she knows how you filled your bucket. Because each one of these colors come from this. Like green is D-stash yarn. Yellow is D-stash tool or book. Um, purple is reorganize, sort, tidy your yarn shelf. Orange is clean out a project bag. Blue is work on a whip started before a certain date. Red is uh, start something with really old stash or an old pattern. And I did quite a few of those because I've been finishing and doing um, and starting new stuff. And frog a whip, 
or finished object, de-stash an old whip or finished object by any method, or finish a whip is six colors of your choice. And I did all sorts of different colors on that because in the last two months I have had a lot of finishes. So I did finish my bucket, so I sent that off to her. But in the Instagram, I won one of the prizes and I'm not one that wins a lot of prizes. So I figured I'd show it off. So Stephanie, who is Texas Peach Knit, sent me a card. And she sent me this lovely skein of um, Mystery Mouse Yarn Company, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, in Sense and Sensibility. And that is just beautiful. Not sure what it will make up into, but thank you very much for that. And then when I was at the hospital the other day picking, uh, no, I had to go in for labs. Um, I have my yearly coming up, so you have to go in and do all your labs and all that. I found this in their gift shop. I always stop in because you never know what you're gonna find and if you don't buy it, then you're not getting it. And we have a lovely little gift shop that does a lot for the hospital. And I found this little bag that says, today is going to be super. And so I picked it up. It has a fuzzy pull, just a silky on the inside. Um, it's not water resistant or anything. Probably made for a makeup bag or something like that. But you know me, it's going to be a project bag. So I had to get that. And then I also picked up at the local store interweave knits and they had one that was from spring of 2024 i know the summer one's out but this is the one that caught i was like very happy it was the last one up that was from spring and this pattern that's called the cathaway vest by jennifer kent i think i really want to make this and i have some cascade yarn in a cotton wool blend that I think would be perfect for this and I think I have enough for my size and so there's there's several others my rule is you have to have three in a pattern book in order to get it for me if I'm going to buy something but I really like this one it's called the linden tea that's a possibility, of course, much longer. I don't do cropped. And there was a, this is the back of the linden tea. I just, I really, really like that. It's got the lace all the way down. And um, where's the other one? I think there was a shawl that I really liked. and. Uh, yep, it is the Summer Shawl, and this is by Nadia Stallings. And I just think that I know I have yarn in my room that I could do. I think I have Yowza that would be perfect in this. And it's this little lace shawl. So I got three. I think there's more than that in here that I want to look at and move forward with possibly. Um, there's also one stitch in six swatches. So they're using the same stitch pattern in a bunch of different weights of yarn. So that gives you a feedback on that. And I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, this is, again, the spring interweave lace. I don't buy a lot of magazines. Um, I have a ton of patterns. I have a ton of resources that I go to. But this one just caught my eye, and I'm like, there's three in there immediately that I want to do. So, yeah, I'll pick that up. But I can't start any of that until I get through this. So what is this? Well... On the 9th, today is the 13th, I decided to write a list of everything I have currently going and what I want to finish by the end of the year. We'll see. I feel like I'm tilted. I'm sorry. I think I need to get a new stand, so 
just bear with me. I am who I am. So let's go through this and see. I swear to goodness, I have something in my eyeball. But we'll move forward. First thing I have going is my love sweater, and that is in this Lion Brand bag. It's a Hue and Me. This is actually a Hue and Me pattern from is it Whiskey and Wool or Wool and Yeah, I don't know. I'll put it here. Um, but Hue and Me in the colorway. sea glass and this is a size 5 bulky and it's 80% acrylic 20% wool from Lion Brand and the other colorway is rose water so these two colors the rose water is only for two elbow patches in heart shapes, which I went ahead and knit those up first, lots of ends. And then on the edge of the sleeve will be three duplicate stitch hearts on each sleeve. I think they only put it on one. I'm doing it on both because that's what I want to do. So I have this on a couple of sets of needles. This is my front. I did deviate from the pattern in that I did a couple of short rows in the back um, along with the raglan. So in the back you can see that I went all the way across the raglan on both of the increase uh, rows. Um, I just did a German short row no biggie and I am to the point of working on the sleeves now so I have completed this to the point where the body the yarn for the body is off the ball I think it's just hanging somewhere and this one is still on waist yarn actually I put it on a barbacle try it on tubing whatever you want to call it and this one is on my um, Chiagu shorts. These are size 11 needles. It's a little stiff right now, but I know that it's going to open up. And I don't know that I'm keeping this for myself. It will fit me. I've tried it on. But I think Boo would really like this. I mean, this sea glass is pretty sagey, and she loves wearing sage. And I'm going to do long sleeves with the hearts on the elbows and then the hearts along the side. And that is where I am on that. The next one I'll talk about... I'm actually going to move this to this side as I'm <laughs> working on them so I don't have to dig through. Is in this bag, which is one that sits by my um, place where I watch TV, I am doing a scrap again. It's just a simple granny stitch, no pattern, no nothing. Out of all of the leftovers of my sister's Magnus cardigans? Yeah. So I also have a friend's Magnus cardigan that I did not bring in here that I need to get started. I hope to have that done by Christmas, but this will be another baby blanket. I'm doing it on a size five tulip hook. And that's all I have going right now on the scrap again, because I'm just using scraps left over from that uh, color Halo Rama. I think it's Halo Rama yarn. So in this bag, which is a poo bag from Stitch by Di um, Stitch, Stitch by Jessaloo, I am doing my Cascade yarn. 
is the name of this luminosa and of course i just dropped the ball because that's how you go and this is just a simple reglan top down no pattern i just did yard over increases on the edge a couple of short rows in the back and I'm at the point of going, 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 going. Once this one's done, I do the sleeves and then I'll finish up the body. I think I've got four more skeins, so I've got plenty of yarn with this. Super simple, size 10 needles. And I've just got to get back to knitting in the round with it. In my Be Happy bag, I have my opal socks. I have one that's ready for an afterthought heel when I figure out who it's going to be for. And the second one only has a little bit more to go. I think it's 10 rows and then I start the toes. So we're right there. It's my typical top down in a DK weight, which I do a cast on of 12 stitches per needle, so 48 stitches. I do three rows of stockinette stitch and then 10 rows of two by two ribbing and then I knit. Normally I'll put in a hill flap and gusset. This time because I didn't know who these would be for, I just left it blank. I will cut in a heel, do a true afterthought. And I am doing these on Chiagu size three, uh, wooden needles. I am a rather tight knitter. So if you see people doing um, DK weight on size twos, size twos is what I use normal sock yarn. If it's really thin sock yarn, I'll go down to a one and a half. Don't normally knit below a one and a half because it hurts my hands. So those are my opal socks. Then I have, I don't know how big this one's going to get. Um, it does hurt my hands to crochet on it because of the tightness that has to be there. It is Red Heart Super Saver in stripes in the neon. And I am color pooling. You can see that it's making up into the patchwork quilt kind of plaid looking. It's two lengths wide. So at this point, I'd say I'm about halfway done. I have a ton more yarn, but I don't want to make it so big and so heavy. But I do need to pull this out probably in the fall uh, when we're having campfires outside and such. I can pull this out and start working on this again. I am using ooh, this one is a size four millimeter tulip hook on it. Tulips are my favorite. I have several others, but tulips are my favorite. And this is just in a bag that I got at a job fair when I was working the job fair, trying to hire people. So I got it for Choose VA. And I do need to get back to that. Then ongoing in my squirrel bag. I have my hot chocolate socks. This is done in Sweet Mountain Crafts in her hot chocolate colorway that was one of her monthly colorways. Um, again, it was uh, cast on my typical 48 cast on with the three rows of stockinette. But this one, I did a garter rib on the sock all the way down the foot, stocking out on the bottom. 
Um, I was gonna do the toe, but I didn't have all that much of this left, so I decided not to. I have since cast on the second sock, again on a size three. These are a knit pick size three, and I'm just to the point of starting the pattern in a darker brown. I like my DPN holders. Whoops, yarn just hit the floor again. Always. And again, this is a stitched by Stitchaloo. This is one Lori gave me. This is Anonymous Mind in a sloth bag. And this one holds What is the name of this dolly hat, I think? It was a test knit I was working on. This is done in Mace of Skeins. And I haven't gotten much further in this than what it is. I need to finish it up. Done on Lika shorts. And I need to get back to that. All of this, I need, that's my whole thing is I got to get back to it. So that's probably the name of this podcast is I got to get back to it. Here's one I wanted to wear this fall. So hopefully I'll get back to this rather quickly. This is the Garden Gate. And this is done in Of course I don't have the ball band. Mm-hmm. You're screaming it at me. I'll put it up there. But I have started the color work. I have all of my stitch markers in. Everything looks good. I've just got to keep it going. And I believe this was a cascade. Yeah, I don't remember. Not off the top of my head. But I have it going on Chiagos. I think these are nines or are they tens? Those are tens. And like I said, I'm a tight knitter. So this probably called for an eight or a nine and I've gone up to a 10 to get gauge that I like, so. I know that it's terracotta and marine are the colorways, but other than that, this is in a cozy sky gnome bag and my gnome from my friend is on the edge of the gnome bag. Told you I had a lot. I have a mess. There's still a bunch down here. So talking about the Magnus cardigan a minute ago, I have mine going. And mine, I think I'm going to have to rip back because I think this is just way too long. The gauge just isn't matching. So much as I have started this, this is getting ripped out and I will restart it. I'm doing it in Lion Brand Wool Ease and in oh, the Woolies in Black and Scarfy in a Silver Pink. Yep. It will get made. It just has to get ripped out right now because that's too big and my job right now is to go smaller not go bigger so i don't need a bigger sweater so that is in my sunflower bag from joanne's still pulling bags i have my easy eyelet light and this i was dunning dunning 
I was doing out of the advent last year, A Very Pink Christmas from Suburban Stitcher. And I'm beyond separating for the sleeves, which this will definitely fit me lots of room there. Love the pattern. Um, Easy Eyelet is from Knititude. I did it with the gray is I can't remember what yarn the gray is. Might be Malabrigo and gray, Malabrigo sock, not sure. But the rest of these are all the days coming down. I think I'm on day 15, so I have a bunch more to go. They're just, I'm not doing anything special, just following the pattern and taking it on down. And I still have all of them set up in the different, I do about six rows of each color and then have leftovers. But if I do six rows of each color, it will come down the same length as this one. And that's what I want. Um, the sleeves are already done. So I just have to work on the body. And the reason I did the sleeve short, number one, I wanted it something that I could wear in the office but also um, I didn't want to have to fool around with matching all the colors going down and making sure everything was right. And as you get around the outside, how much is being used? Do I have enough to do six rows on the sleeves as well as the body? And I just did the body instead. This is in a Mrs. Brown's bag. Another one from Lori, love it. That's where that's sitting. In my Rugrats bag from there we go. This is from Molly Klein Designs in Rugrats. It's my kids' favorite cartoon growing up. They loved the Rugrats. No idea what happened to them. Used to love watching their Hanukkah special, but I did. My lint socks, which is after the storm. I just did some blue and some gray that was in my stash. In fact, that gray may be the same gray that's in that sweater. I have one made up and I am beyond the heel on the second one and knitting down. These are on size two um, sock sticks. And in fact, here's the rest of that gray. And I have the rest of the blue in here, too, so I can do the toe. So, yeah. Next. I ripped out the Scania shawl. And this was from Craftsy back when and I have the needles and I want to re-knit it correctly and so this is going to get re-knit. I don't know if it'll be by Christmas but it will be soon. Oh, things are just falling over. Okay. This one is my Electra cardigan in the bag that Boo bought. And this is out of Chicken Lady Fiber Arts in another gray hair. And as you can see, I am slowly getting it further along. Um, I was doing it in panels. I completely ripped that out. I went, why am I doing this in panels? It's bottom up. I can do it to the sleeves and then separate and move from there. So I've got about seven inches here and I need to go to, um, I'm gonna elongate it. I think I'm gonna go to 14 inches and then I will separate for the sleeves and that way everything is together and I don't have to worry about sewing up all those pieces. The only thing that I'm going to sew is the sleeve um, before doing the sleeves. So, and 
depending on the amount of yarn. I think I have enough for long sleeves, but if I don't, a short sleeve cardigan will work for me as well. That is on size 11, Chiagu needles. I am going to be frogging this. Um, this was, I was making it for a coworker. Um, it just didn't come out right. This is the heart blanket out of Big Twist. And I just don't like the way it's coming out. So, um, the hearts. They do look like hearts, but yeah, this is getting frogged. Do something else with that pattern, or something else with that yarn, just not that pattern. This is my... Is this Saman? S-A-M-M-E-N tunic. And this is done out of Drops Air, and I have plenty of yarn left to do it. I am still working down the body for the, the pockets. And I am, stand up and see. I am to the point here and I've got to go beyond what I am with this sweater. Um, I wanna say this is mid thigh is where this is going to hit. So I've got another five or six inches to go before I even do the bottom on this. And I've been working on this since I was in South Dakota and it got too hot to knit there. So I have plenty to go. I am using my row marker to show how many increases I have done so that each pocket works correctly and I only do the amount that is needed. I have my bees stoppers on it. And this is in my knitting bees bag from Cozy Sky Knits. So one day that will be finished. Then in my Gandalf and Cupid bag from again, Cozy Sky Knits. Cozy Sky Company, I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. I have my Southlander from Skeins in the I can't I think of the name of it, Goldenrod? Yes, Goldenrod colorway. I'm still working the sleeve on the Celtic Grace. And that's going to be a labor of love. I also have the barn sweater going. I did not pull that out. I know that's going and it's another all over cable sweater. We'll see when that gets finished. I have not been working on my Annie's um, monthly. And so I have just month one still going. I have three more months that I need to get done. The sock is out. What bag is it in? The squirrel. Yes, the squirrel. So I picked up some yarn the other day. I was out and about, didn't have yarn, had to wait. So stopped by Joanne's. And you know how it is, right? I picked up their Karen Pantone in the colorway Lapis, which is more green than the blue that I'm wearing. And I was like, okay, this is going to be cool. And then I pulled it out and found out that it's five mini skeins in the same color. So what am I going to do? I started the spider lace. It's bulky. 
So I went down, it isn't super bulky like the spider lace shawl calls for, but I started it in just a bulky on size nine needles. And I've gotten that much done and I figure I'm gonna have to weave in ends anyway, so oh well. But I have one, two, three, four of the five bits. So there's 20 partial skeins. Each skein is 127 yards total. It'll be the size that it is and I'll finish it off when it's done. Um, it probably won't be as large as what that is, but I just want something that goes around the neck like bandana style. It's in another Joanne's bag. I went to my doctor's appointment and move forward with life. I had knitting, I was happy. I did not like having to wind up the itty bitty ball of, but it worked. Little complaints I can work on later. This one though, I absolutely need to get going before Halloween so I can have it finished for Christmas as a gift. And so this one I've got to work on. I bought it three years ago. I was supposed to get it done and I haven't yet. I have a friend whose house is completely Griswold at Christmas. 100% Griswold to the point where she has green couches and you know, just because it's Christmas time and that's the colors she likes. So completely Griswold. And she's always wanted a blanket and we had started one together. I had taught her to crochet and she just, she got it and then she didn't and it got lost and she's like, heartbroken that she still doesn't have a blanket. So this one is Santa's sleigh with two reindeer done in filet crochet. Mary Maxim, it's called Sleigh Ride. It comes out to a 60 by 48. Not sure what needle or, or hook, so I know I'll be doing that. Um, it's machine wash and dryable. It is this very whiny color. So I think she will like it with her green couch and her a red um, cozy blanket. And so I have to have this going. So I have to get some of this finished before Halloween. And then I have to focus on this. It'll take a couple weeks to uh, crochet it up. And that'll be the perfect time to have a blanket on your lap anyways. So I'm holding a lot of these in my giant bog bag. Love this for carrying stuff around. And it's really great in the craft room for holding a lot of projects. But wait, that's not all. The last knitting in the mitten was 2018 at the beach house here in Grand Haven. Well, actually, I think that was in West Olive, but yeah. Everybody there made me squares. And if you were there, you can shout out and say, hey, that one's mine. But I have a bunch of squares done in, I don't know how to pronounce it, shepagees or something like that. That one has a hippo on it. It's so cute. But I know this will make up into an afghan. And all, was it 100? Yeah, I think there were 100. I don't know if there's a full 100 in here, but however many there are is going to go into a blanket and I may have to block some, I may have to edge some, so I'm gonna to have to order some more of this yarn just so that I have the edgings. And 
I have the whole bunch in here. And I finally need to make up this blanket. And I want it in my craft room as a blanket to snuggle up under while I'm working on other things. So that is my goal for the end of the year is to get this done, fingers crossed. But all of this does not count in that I have, um, let's see. Executive producer socks are not in here. I think they're out in the car. Those are just the um, top-down socks that I'm doing out of the Chicken Lady Fiber Arts yard. And also Sarge's sweater that is his unspun sweater that is going to have a bison on the back. That is in a box. I know exactly where it is, but I want to get some of these. Um brought down. I also have a gray sweater that Sarge has asked me to make for him and I want to get that going. Um, I want two pairs of slippers for Christmas. I need to make new slippers and I have the gnome cowl coming up that starts September 1st. So it's really been a whip parade but I gotta get it done. I gotta do it. Um, but wait, there's more. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the name of this is going to be because I forgot what I said already. So it'll be what it'll be. But, um, hi, my name's Kagi and I have a whip problem. I need to get them done and I need to get them finished up. But Tell me your whips. How many is too many for you? Right now, I'm feeling overwhelmed, and I don't think in all the years that I have been knitting and crocheting and spinning, and I didn't even show the spinning I have going. I have two spinning wheels and four bobbin or four uh, drop spindles that are all going. Um, that doesn't even count. That's just sitting there while I'm in between meetings or whatever, and I have time to spin a little bit. That's where that's set up. But, um, yeah, how many make you feel like, yeah, so what is mine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 20, and then I have the not cast on yet, um, the Christmas blanket, the slippers, the sweater, and the gnome cow. So about 25 that... I don't think I'm going to finish 25 projects by the end of the year. And there's still things that I'm seeing that I want to cast on. And I know I'm ripping out one, but that doesn't mean that I don't have more. This is just what I've been able to find. And so, yeah, um, I sat down here just to tell you about the baby blanket and layout set that I made that's going to be going to my nail tech. But yeah, you can see there's a lot more than that. Um, yeah, so I guess until next time, check your checkbook before starting the high fiber diet. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.